You've heard of testosterone, everyone talks about testosterone, but there's a hidden brother hormone that almost nobody talks about. And yet, it might be the very thing that makes you feel like a man. Strong, confident, driven, turned on by life and ready to attack the world. That hormone is DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And here's a crazy part. Mainstream health advice often tells you to fear it. They say DHT causes hair loss. They say it's dangerous. They say you need to lower it. But what if I told you that without healthy DHT levels, your mood collapses, your strength disappears, your libido flattens, and your confidence shrinks into the ground? This video is about why DHT is the most underrated male hormone and why if you want to actually feel like a man, you need to understand it. Let's get into it. Let's start at the beginning. DHT stands for dihydrotestosterone. It's an androgen just like testosterone, but it's actually more potent. Think of testosterone as the raw material and DHT as the refined version, the pure fuel that really fires up masculinity. Here's how it works. A small percentage of testosterone gets converted into DHT through an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. And even though the amount is smaller, DHT binds to androgen receptors three to five times more strongly than testosterone does. That means it has a much more powerful effect on your body and brain. Now here's where it gets fascinating. DHT doesn't float around in massive amounts like testosterone, but because it locks into those receptors so strongly, it's often the hormone actually doing the heavy lifting when it comes to how you feel. Let's talk about mood. You've probably had days where you just feel flat, no drive, no excitement, nothing sparks that fire in you and then you've had days where you feel unstoppable, confident, ready to take on the world. That difference, it's not just testosterone. DHT plays a massive role here. Why? Because DHT has a direct impact on the brain, especially on areas that regulate mood, motivation, and even aggression. Not the bad kind of aggression, but the healthy kind. The, I'm going to push forward, I'm not going to be walked over kind of masculine edge. There's an interesting study titled, persistent sexual and non-sexual adverse effects of finasteride in younger men. In this trial, researchers observed healthy men who took finasteride, a drug that blocks DHT. What happened? Their mood dropped and they experienced lower sexual function. Basically, when you rob men of DHT, they lose that sense of vitality. And that's the key. If you want confidence and resilience, you need DHT in the picture. All right, let's move to strength. Everybody knows testosterone helps you build muscle, but here's the overlooked piece. DHT also plays a role in muscle function. DHT directly stimulates androgen receptors in muscle tissue, meaning when your body makes DHT, it's locking into those receptors and sending the signal, grow, get stronger, adapt. A study titled The Effects of Transdermal Dihydrotestosterone Gel on Muscle Strength, Mobility and Quality of Life in Older Men looked at men aged 60 and above using daily DHT gel. Researchers found a small but measurable increase in knee flexion strength, though other muscles and overall physical function didn't change. So while DHT isn't a magic muscle builder across the board, it does contribute to muscle strength and androgenic effects in specific areas. Now, don't get me wrong, natural DHT isn't going to turn you into a bodybuilder overnight, but without healthy DHT levels, your workouts can feel flatter, recovery may be slower and you miss out on that dense, strong, powerful look that comes from optimal androgen activity. And here's a big point. DHT doesn't aromatize into estrogen. Testosterone can be converted into estrogen, but DHT can't. That means it's a pure androgen signal, no balancing act with estrogen in that pathway. This is one reason DHT gives you that sharper, more masculine look. Now we've got to talk about libido because this is where DHT really shines. You can have good testosterone levels and still feel average in the bedroom if your DHT is low. There was a study titled The Hydrotestosterone and Sexual Function in Men, Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, 2002. Researchers looked at men with low sexual desire and found that while testosterone played a role, it was actually DHT that strongly correlated with sexual motivation. In plain English, if your DHT is tanked, desire tanks too. This makes sense because DHT interacts with brain regions like the hypothalamus and limbic system, the parts of your brain that fire up desire and sexual drive. 
And guys, let's be honest, libido isn't just about sex, it's about life energy. When your DHT is in a good place, you don't just want intimacy, you want to do things. You want to chase goals, make moves, take action. Low DHT robs men of that spark. Have you ever wondered why some men seem unstoppable in their careers or passions while others just drift? Of course, environment, habits and discipline matter, but hormones shape the playing field. DHT is like the gas pedal, it fuels ambition, determination, that sense of I will not quit. There's research highlighting that androgens influence competitiveness and drive, and given DHT's potent androgenic effect, it contributes to this edge. A broad review titled The Role of Androgens in Male Behaviour and Health shows how circulating androgens like DHT can impact assertiveness, competitiveness and ambition. Now let's address the elephant in the room, hair loss. Everyone's heard the story that DHT causes baldness and yes, genetics plus DHT do play a role in male pattern baldness. But here's the important part. DHT doesn't cause baldness by itself. If that were true, every man with high DHT would be bald and that's simply not the case. What actually happens is that some men have hair follicles that are genetically sensitive to DHT. In those men, when DHT binds to receptors in the scalp follicles, it triggers miniaturization of the hair over time. But think about it, what's the cost of shutting down DHT to save your hair? Sure, you might keep some extra strands, but at the cost of mood, libido, strength and confidence. That's a massive trade-off. I'm not saying don't care about your hair, I'm saying be aware of what's actually happening. If you suppress DHT, you're giving up far more than you gain. One thing I want to emphasize here is that DHT doesn't just affect the body, it changes how you carry yourself, the confidence you project, the risk taking you're willing to embrace, the way you handle confrontation. These aren't just personality traits floating in thin air, they're shaped by androgens like DHT. If you've ever met a guy who just has that solid, grounded presence, the kind where when he speaks, people listen, that's not an accident. DHT is part of that hormonal foundation behind that. And this is why. In today's world, where men are told to lower everything, avoid risk, stay passive, we're also seeing an epidemic of low drive, low confidence, low presence. Without DHT doing its job, men don't feel like men. So the big question, how do you actually support healthy DHT? Because remember, DHT comes from testosterone, so if your T is low, your DHT will be low too. Here are some key lifestyle factors that impact DHT. Diet. Healthy fats like those from eggs, steak, olive oil and nuts give your body the cholesterol it needs to make testosterone and DHT. Low fat diets, they tank androgens. Exercise, resistance training, especially heavy compound lifts like squats, dips, deadlifts are proven to range androgen levels. Sleep, your hormones reset at night. If you're cutting sleep, you're cutting your DHT. Stress, high cortisol blocks androgen activity. Manage stress and protect your DHT. It's not rocket science, but it's consistency. Live like a man and your hormones reflect that. Here's the controversial bit. Why is DHT ignored or even demonized in mainstream health advice? Because the medical system tends to look at one side of the equation, risks. They see DHT connected to hair loss, to prostate issues, they stop there. But what they miss is the big picture. Yes, too much DHT in certain contexts might be a problem, but the absence of DHT is a much bigger problem for men's quality of life. The system isn't designed to optimize men's health. It's designed to manage symptoms. That's why you'll rarely hear a doctor say, we need to make sure your DHT is healthy. But if you care about how you feel, how you perform and how you live as a man, you need to think about it. So let's bring this all together. DHT is not the villain, it's the hidden powerhouse behind mood, strength, libido, drive and confidence. It's stronger than testosterone in how it binds to receptors, meaning it often has the bigger effect on how you feel day to day. Studies show that blocking DHT lowers mood, kills libido and drains motivation. Meanwhile, higher DHT supports competitive drive and sexual energy. Yes, DHT is linked to hair loss in genetically sensitive men, but shutting it down isn't a free ride. You lose the very hormones that make you feel alive. At the end of the day, this is about one thing. Do you want to look like you're holding on? Or do you want to live like a man who's firing on all cylinders? That's why DHT matters. If this video opened your eyes about DHT, do me a favor, 
hit that like button so more men can see the truth. Drop a comment below, have you ever felt the difference when your hormones were dialed in versus when they were low? I want to hear your story and make sure you subscribe to Testosterone Growth because we're not done here. This channel is about giving you the knowledge and the tools to reclaim your edge as a man. Stay strong, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.